Father, we just want to thank you for this wonderful hour. We glorify in the name of Jesus. It's time all of for us to hear from you of what you want us to hear at this time. Lord, help us to tune our ear to the truth. The Bible says, my sheep hear my voice and they follow you. Jesus, you really know them. To the one that you know, God, touch their heart through this world. They are not going to be lost to the devil. And their deliverance will come. And their name, O oh God, will establish the book of life. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious Redeemer, I pray. Amen. Um, I want to greet every one of you that are wanting to listen, that have the opportunity of hearing this message. Uh, this message came to me, that was this morning. The Lord wanted me to speak about it and to call our attention to something that we need to know that we've not known before, that it did not change the same yesterday, today, and forever. But we're going to look at the very simple word that everybody used to. But the Holy Spirit wants you to open your eyes to get your attention to truth of this world of the interpretations of which you want to connect you with for you to know the power of him in truth in righteousness in your calling and in your service to mighty god now i want you to turn your bible with me with the book of matthew chapter 3. i only going to read only verse 2 and 3. uh it's very very powerful word of instruction and God is calling to the one that have been elect. But we understand the Bible says many are called, the few are chosen. And to the few and another few will be connected with this world. And the power beat of his glory will surely turn around your own negativities that will not let you be in fullness of his kingdom in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Verse 2 of chapter 3 of Matthew, Matthew chapter 3. I'm reading verse 2 and 3. And say, Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Verse 3. For this is he that was spoken of by the prophet Isaiah, saying, The voice of the one crying in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his path straight. Make his path straight. You know, we all know who God is speaking to at this time. A mighty man of God that uh, come and preparing the way and revealing our Lord Jesus Christ before his time. Anyway, we will see that John the Baptist was strictly talking about something important to the children of God at that time. And that was then, and now God is using the same word for this generation, calling your attention of how you are preparing His way. Ah, this a little bit touch, uh, powerful, and uh, and I know the Holy Spirit. We surely open your ear to be connected with the truth. But don't forget, Jesus Christ said, My sheep hear my voice. Matthew chapter 10, verse 27. My sheep hear my voice. And, you know, they hear him. They understand his voice. When his word of correction comes, they don't find it difficult. At all. 
But to those who are not the sheep of Jesus Christ, like Judas Iscariot, if you think about it, Judas was hearing when Christ was even speaking. One of you is going to reveal me, but it might be better for him not to be born. And he had the word of the course, but it still produced. And it still, it still, it still pressed forward. It proceeded to carry out the evil because of what? One thing, money, greed. Money, greed. But I don't know how you are preparing the way of the law. Maybe you are acting like Judas Iscariot. Money makes you to lose the truth, come out of the truth, because you want to please certain people for you to get lost the money out of their pocket. Ah, oh. well, this is the time reality of the kingdom need to establish because it worth it so. And there are people that work in the kingdom of God because they just want to be known or get named. I want people to see them, okay, we are comfortable, just like Ananias and Sapphira. You know what? And then, they are not sinning against God, but they are sinning to the Holy Spirit. Peter didn't open his mouth for nothing. And they lie in the presence of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, you are dealing with human beings. But then, I want you to hear this. You need to think how you are preparing the way of the law and the preparation started on yourself. It started just on you. I'm going to start from Old Cement. You might kick against this. Oh, yes, that was Old Testament. There is someone, we have a couple of them, the God prepared, you know, for his glory, prepared them for perfection of his kingdom. And be lifted up God mightily. And the beauty of glory of God was established through what God did through them. Look at David. He was a shepherd. A man that is not recognized. But heaven knows him. He was preparing the way of the Lord. Right in the wilderness why he was shepherding. Think about it. And that is why the beauty and the glory of God was established the day of affliction of Israelite in hand of Felicity. Think about it. Others have allowed position, money, and greatness step out of the will of God. The confidence of the mightiness of God was not manifesting, manifesting in them. <laughs> the old king, the God, are not think about it. He cannot even summon courage because he was looking at himself that I'm so little to this guy. I can't even face it. He forget greater is he that is you that who is in the war. A young man, a man who is not known, a man that has been lo and loaded in preparing his way, giving his life to God, walking in the will of God. He was preparing himself in the wilderness. And the man of God was upon him mightily. But then listen to this. How are you preparing for coming of our Lord Jesus Christ? What is your preparation? Look at your life. Look at the beginning of your life in Christ. Is it developing or diminishing? What are things that attract to you now makes you to forget the foundation? David refused to or forget the foundation. The empowerment of truth of his kingdom was rested upon him and he was pressing forward. Hello. <laughs> I had a story of one man of God. He came to United States here from Nigeria. But the illustrious of this country took him away. He got all people that he needed. He has a ministry, and they left the ministry in charge of some faithful brethren, of which those ministers of God are so faithful. And they are not telling him, but the hand is coming back home. We are preparing a crusade for you. Did you know you see new man in hand of Satan? He has forgot 
about the kingdom. You know the funny things? They make posters. They do all kind of uh, program. You know, Nigeria, when you hear someone is coming for the United States, everybody, you know, say, yes, that man of God is coming for the U.S. Uh -huh, we know we're going to get a great touch. This man of God got to the podium. He doesn't know what to say. He had left the path of righteousness. But people are still looking at him because he comes from the U.S. Listen to me. Preparation started on yourself. On you. Everything is revealing the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The world is getting worse. Evil are happening more. Things does not go even like the way it was in olden days. I myself, I, I terrify every day. People does not have the heart of God. <laughs> Occultism increasing like nothing. People are bribing their way to the gospel through occultism. They, you have to join this before your ministry can be known. Who cares about that? Who worries about that? Is that gospel? When you have money, you have jet to fly. Is that gospel? The truth is departing. You are becoming a hellfire candidate. You don't watch. You care not to watch. No, let me tell you this. I don't care how you guys are monitoring me. All what you are doing in, in locating me, you go to different type of places. I don't care. Keep on doing it. You cannot terrify me. Because the heart is of the law. For only daring all that is dwelling in it. I don't care. But you need to repent of that evil that you are doing. You need to change Prepare the word of the Lord. I don't know why you are toying with her fire. You so rejoice and so happy. You do know you forget the Bible said that it's no repent and the grave that you are going. Once you die, judgment. Hey, and you know that truth, you still continue on evil track. Your end is coming one day. If the war did not leave you, the war will leave you. You will leave the war. If this war did not leave you, you are going to leave the war one day. Press forward. Press forward. Press forward. This time he has spoken it all. He said, You are looking for a man that is needed to destroy him, to just crush him. He do nothing to you because of truth. No wonder. Amen. Because of the position. Looking for Mordecai to kill instead of you to walk straight, to live right and correct yourself, understand the truth of the kingdom of God. You are pushing Mordecai. Where is a kind of yesterday? I want you to remember the God of that yesterday is the same present God. His power never changes. When it's ready for you, you are going to be in trouble. But you need to repent. Change from your you. I'm not here to arrest anybody. I didn't harass no one. But I got it to give the message God gave to me. He wants you to make his way straight. He wants you to prepare his way straight. John spoke at his time. Those who repented, they are saved forever. Those who lost it, some of them are in hell right now. Just believe it. I don't know what you're looking for. Money is turning your, your heart around and change from truth. And begin to tell people what they want to hear. Adulterize different type of uh, 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 negativity life was growing in your church, and you think you are doing the will of God. A day is coming. One day is coming, and no one can stop it. No one can stop it. You lost your visions, and you divided because of lotteries. Uh, and souls are dying. Corruption is increasing around the world. Think about it. A lot hide on the Jesus. 
I'm beginning to do evil. <laughs> you think the one that created height did not see you? His eyes is upon you. Make his way straight. Jesus will soon come. Repent now. This is your hour. This is your time. He's crying again. The voice is coming from the throne of heaven through his word. Prepare the way of the Lord. Get out from those negativities. Come back to fullness of his glory. Stop devil to keep on, you know, using your wrong way. My dear, God will take care of you. You know, a lot of you, see, got all the money, but you never comforted. No comfort in you at all. Worried. You face a doctor more than, who oh, does not even know God. Think about it. Who, who, who are you looking for? You better come out. Some of you join occultism. You know, doing wrong thing. Using human being for ritualism because of money, not for the kingdom. And when someone even listens to a message, you say you are preaching no life there. It's empty barren and begin to perform magic. 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 Listen to this. Revelation chapter 19. They are magicians. Original magicians. Original what? Magicians. I want you to really listen to this word. Hear this. And I saw, I'm reading fast 19, chapter 19. And I saw the beast and the kings of the hearts and their armies gathered together. They gather together. They gather together to make a war against him that sat on the throne uh, on the horse and against his army. And the beast was taken and with him the first prophet, hear this, that wrote miracle before him. Hello. Miracle does not mean that you are in true line of his kingdom. Miracle does not mean you are walking with God in truth. Prepare his way. The truth is with you. Because the scripture say a lot of people hold the truth on the righteous. On the righteousness. Come back to Jesus. The Lord is calling you right now. This is time to repent. The voice is crying from the wilderness. Change. Make its way straight. Jesus is waiting for you all the time. For your repentance. Elect are now deceived. A lot of elect are being deceived. Because of money. They were leaving if you are there. Please, this is time for you to really, you know, consider the truth. He will set you free. It's not going to bind you. Give your life to Jesus. Repent. Change. Let change come to you. You know the funny things. I saw a Lord that claimed to be a children of God, but you are all liar. The truth is not in you. Why? Because you can't stand the truth. You're good in by biting. What God did not tell you that you are proclaiming, what you don't see. I remember a, a, a certain person. All what you are doing, I saw everything. That your day is coming. I don't care who I am. Go and get the, the news of the world. Let them keep on monitoring me anywhere I go. Keep on doing it. What day is coming that the Lord will expose every darkened, hidden, Waves 
And that's why you know, the Lord is giving me the grace to release this message. Change from your evil before the judgment of God come upon you. I pray that the Lord will help you. He will help you. It is time for you to repent. Make his way straight. The voice that cry in the wilderness, make his way straight. Please. Hell is not a place of repentance. Somebody is preaching, you need to get your people out of hell. Anyway, way, yeah. You can get them out of hell. Why do I leave it? It's not where they died. Anyone that dead in sin is gone. Stop telling people lies. Nobody. Jesus Christ made us all this time. He's the only one that come from above. He knows everything. He has revealed it to us. What Jesus did not tell you are proclaiming it because of money for people to see that. Oh yeah, he's a great preacher. What great preacher are preaching? Directing multitude to hellfire. You better change. Let your chief, let money go. Your eternity is important. You have a few years to spend more on heart. Few years. But that place of eternal, thousands of years you are still there. Suffering, lamenting, under tormentations. Hell is real. You hear what the scriptures are here? Jesus is coming. Escape the anger of our Lord Jesus Christ. The judgment is bringing upon those who are rebel against him. Because you're a rebel, when you refuse the truth, you allow Satan to begin to rule over you. You're a rebel. But he loves you. He cares about you. He cares about you. He worries about you. He made it unto Peter. He said, Peter, I see the devil wanting to destroy you. But I pray for you. The prayer of our Lord Jesus Christ that made Peter to repent. He repented. He cried. And look at what God used him to do. Look at Judas Iscariot. He never get prayer from the Lord Jesus Christ. He was cursed. And that cost ruined him. Hello? Come back to Jesus. Please come back. Please come back. I'm begging you, come back. The voice is crying for the wilderness. Prepare this way. Prepare this way. Make its way straight. Please change. So you can affect lives. David is Psalm 51. He said, God have mercy upon me. So I can bring sinner into your house. Psalm 51. Read it. Cry like David. Tell yourself to God and for your salvation. He will restore you. Because it's a merciful father. But what he wants from you is to repent. Whatever you might have done, your courtism you evolved, the blood you might have child, come back to Jesus. He's waiting for you. God bless you as you listen. Your way and your life will never remain the same. In the precious, mighty name of Jesus, come back. Close your eyes and let's pray together. Father, I just want to thank you. As you are repenting, heaven is listening to you. Then I'm looking at, you know, there are, this man, you are watching this video and I see you are breathing down. The Lord is waiting for your repentance. He will have mercy upon you. He will do what you cannot do. He loves you. He cares about you. Yes. I saw you, the woman, too. You know, uh, I'm looking at you. You, you are saying this is the truth world, to the truth world. Please repent. Come back to Jesus. He's calling us to write part of his kingdom. And I pray the power of his glory will rest upon you. Lord, I pray for their change. I pray for their repentance. Let an anointing of word, the revealed is true to the Lord, set them free. Lord, I just want to thank you. In Jesus' pressure, I pray. Amen.